Hi, this is Scott Bonima. One of my favorite ways to fish this time of the year. We picked an absolutely beautiful morning, and that's fishing frogs, soft body frogs. This was a home run last year that Rappel came out with from the Terminator product line. It's the walking frog. Tremendous action. It's got pendulum weight in it. We talked about it. Allows you to walk the surface through the pads extremely well. I think it's got some of the best action on the market, without a doubt. Since that time, they've hit an absolute home run. They brought out a brand new frog this year, the popping frog. And if you notice, the, the nose compared to the regular frog is hollowed. And this allows the frog to spit water. And it gives us the opportunity to fish it like a, a, a skitter pop or a t popping action versus just going through the heavy, heavy vegetation with a walking frog. Now, while they'll both catch fish in open water, this new popping frog allows you to fish a little bit slower, a little more motion, brings the fish into it. And uh, it's just been a tremendous product. Uh, I noticed this year in particular, we're fishing around some of these open bulrushes and reeds. And with the high water, the pads are a little more spread out this year. And the popping frog allows us to work it through those open pockets and create a lot of commotion. Uh, it's done a tremendous job. It's a great, great fish catching uh, product. It's simple to use. It comes right out of the box, looks just like this, and you can fish it this way just fine. One of the things I like to do is I like to take off just a little bit of, of the skirt material, and I cut it at a little bit of an angle, probably three quarters of an inch or so off. And that's really all there is to it. And it's ready to go. Now the the equipment that I use is the same I use for both the walking frog as well as a popping frog. This is some nasty stuff we're throwing into. So I'm still going with a 7.4 or 7.6 heavy rod. I use the Suffix 832 braid. And the reason I do that is um, versus a, uh, a performance braid or many braids that are out there, they have a tendency to sink. Test yours next time. Throw it in the water. Over time, it it takes water on and sinks. But the 832 from Suffix does not because it's got gore, like the Gore-Tex material in, braided into it so it wicks water away and allows you to fish these popping frogs keeping the braid on the top and you're not having to, to pull the braid through the water. So I highly recommend that product for throwing on frogs. Again, we've got a lot of backbone, fast tip, um, with the popping frog, the difference is when I, when I throw the frog out there, I want to make sure that when I'm fishing it, I hold the rod up like this and I just give it little pops. That'll allow the frog to spit water, gets a little bit of side to side motion. And it also, because I've got a little bit of uh, ADD personality, I want to always be jerking too fast. And whether you're fishing a walking frog or a popping frog, the idea is, let the fish take it. He's got to take it down. He's got to turn before you go to set the hook. And I find that if I keep the rod tip high, I see the strike, then I reel down to it and I can get a good strong hook set in that fish. Um, really, really helps my hookup percentages. And I use the same setup with this frog. The only difference is when I make the cast, I lower the rod tip and I just do side to side actions, dropping the tip back and that allows the frog to walk side to side very well. So kind of take those tips and, and use them this summer. I think you'll find that if you use this new uh, popping frog with a one-two combination, and when I talk about the one-two punch, what I mean by that is I have one rod set up with a popping frog, one rod set up with a walking frog. So in scenarios where you have a lot of heavy vegetation, where there's not a lot of openings, I use the walking frog, which allows the fish to blow up through that vegetation. However, if I find that I've got sparse areas where I can throw a popping frog, I can throw the popping frog in that area to try to entice the bite. So it's really a one-two punch. I throw this in the real heavy, I throw this when I've got some openings and I kind of mix it up in between to let the fish tell me which one they're after. Give them a shot. Terminator popping frog, Terminator walking frog, available virtually everywhere today. Go give him a shot.